What's up everybody? Great to see you back. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology again and today we will continue with our Bhagavad Gita series. We completed the first chapter and now we are discussing individually on different topics on how to learn the lessons from the first chapter because I don't just want to rush and finish chapters and shlokas and verses and then say that I have finished the Gita when I have not explained things properly. All right. So now we will not discuss the Gita anymore. <laughs> we will discuss what is there inside of the gita all right which is known as reading between the lines and now we will go on each and every character on explaining how they represent certain tendencies and qualities inside us which are holding us back or which probably will help us to go ahead yes for example we will see regarding the good characters how their qualities will help us go ahead and regarding the so called villains or negative characters how their qualities are holding us back from going close to the supreme almighty being who is known as god in the vedic scriptures all right there you go if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up at the end and if you want a personal consultation then approach me in my website somewhere here there below and of course if you want me to make any other video then let me know in the comments all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him in this first week of the new year all right and before we start anything on the gita as i do offer my prayers to the preceptors who have very kindly bestowed this divine wisdom unto me by saying om agyan timirandhasya gyananjana shalakaya chakshudun militam yena tasmay shri gurve namaha okay so today who is the person that we are going to find <laughs> yes 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 today is none other than the king himself dhrita rashtra we will discuss who this person is and where is he still living yes which part of india or germany or london no 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 let's see where he still lives as one of my gurus once said that this character dhritarashtra is actually chiranjeevi chiranjeevi means not in a literal sense chiranjeevi means that one who lives for one day of brahma as per the vedic calculation about which we will discuss later one day of brahma one day of the demigods but here when he said Dhritarashtra is Chiranjeevi. It simply means that he will never die, which means he will always be there in our hearts. Not that we remember him, but the traits which he exemplifies, those traits we also have. Yes. So these people from the Mahabharata, they are not simply characters. They are characters physically existing at one point of time in the history, but they also represent uh, the different. traits and qualities which we harbor inside our heart like harboring malice as they say yes so now we will see who this person is and where is he residing <laughs> and how to uproot this person yes because otherwise if we stay with this person this person will destroy us because he himself was destroyed in the war right although he didn't take part so now dhritarashtra is the king of the kuru dynasty so he was born blind and then his brother pandu was put in the throne on the suggestion of vidura because vidura is also his half brother step step brother as you say and pandu was very powerful he was good in everything he had all his bodily limbs perfectly working <laughs> and that is why he was put in the throne he was the king although pandu was younger to dhritarashtra yes and then dhritarashtra always had this feeling inside that oh my god i am the eldest i should sit in the throne why is my brother sitting but he used to pretend that no 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 it's okay let him sit na i'm i'm okay with that no problem so that is why i have named this person as the ostrich ostrich what it does is whenever it sees a danger it will go and put its head inside the ground yes or it will go and put its head inside a hole and then it thinks that the danger has gone yes but the danger doesn't go just by putting your head in the ground the danger is still there the only thing is you are 
speaking a lie to yourself that no 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 the danger is gone there's no danger anymore now this person also he could not uh, sit in the throne but then due to some reason pandu left his body by the curse of the kingdom rishi and then he was put as a temporary king till the time the son of pandu the eldest son who was yudhishthir would become mature and till the time yudhishthir would sit in the throne till that time dhritarashtra was put in the throne and then after yudhishthir would mature dhritarashtra ideally should have handed over the kingdom to yudhishthir because yudhishthir's father was the one who was ruling okay so it was pandu's son who was supposed to rule and of course yudhishthir maharaj was the most qualified unanimously agreed by everybody yes he was the best he is known as dharmaraj which means he is the he is considered like to be the king of religion and spirituality yes so he was the best there was no doubt on it and everybody loved him he was the most popular also so they, 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 by all means he was supposed to sit in the throne but this could not be digested by the king dhritarashtra he wanted his evil wicked down to the son duryodhana to sit there yes who was the worst of the kurus who was the cause of the destruction of the entire dynasty who was the root cause of all the trouble yes his envy towards the pandavas and then what this person used to do dhritarashtra knew everything which duryodhana and his party would hatch against the pandavas but then he although he knew everything but he used to pretend as if i don't know anything <laughs> he used to think no 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 duryodhana is not very bad after all he is my son so this person exemplifies the quality of attachment inside us those attachments which are holding us back from going close to god that is what dhritarashtra exemplifies in the character of mahabharat because he if he wanted he could have directly said that no this is wrong yudhishthir should be the king as per law and as per popular vote not by democracy but by the popular opinion of the public and that is why i will put yudhishthir in the throne then duryodhana could have not objected because the king has said now nobody can object but because he was so attached to his degraded son duryodhana that he although he knew all the controversies which were hatched by karana dushasana shakuni and duryodhana all four of these great personalities <laughs> combined no? and that is why all these four met uh, death very badly in the battlefield all four of them duryodhana dushasana karana and shakuni although he knew all the things which they were doing to kill and to destroy the pandavas like creating that forest fire in varnavrat yes it's actually called home fire house fire which is actually like forest fire because the entire house was burning in, in which is known as lakshagraha we will go to that later sometimes but there were so many other places where duryodhana tried to kill the pandavas one time he wants to go and vedya stops him and then another time he goes to show the pandavas that oh how rich i am na when pandavas are in the forest then again there are so many places duryodhana tries to harm the pandavas and in fact this foolish duryodhana he also tries to capture krishna when krishna comes as a peace messenger so dhritarashtra is the epic example of a person who knows everything yes see the problem is not that you don't know the problem is you know but still you pretend as if nothing has happened <laughs> that is where the problem is because in this world mostly largely everybody knows what is good bad right wrong you don't need too much scriptural rules to say to people oh no 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 this is right this is wrong you need that but mostly the con the inner voice inside the person is strong enough in general to tell you what is right and what is wrong but you and me behave as if no 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 we never heard that nobody said that this is wrong we can still do it right so that means dhritarashtra represents those tendencies inside us which even after we know we don't work on them yes for example he represents attachment suppose we have 
embarked on a spiritual journey which doesn't mean we have renounced the world it doesn't mean that it simply means that we are behaving like a normal person and we have taken to some spiritual practice all right so then suppose our guru or our seniors in that domain they tell us that see now uh, it is good if you can join us in the temple program every sunday or every saturday or every friday evening yes otherwise uh, how will you cultivate yourself right spiritually and you know that you should do that and then on sunday you have some friends from your mundane friend circle who are telling oh no 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 we will go and watch game of thrones together we will go and watch big boss together we will go and watch friends together we will go and watch maybe uh, this new movie together yes the same uh, the same story in the movie right there's an actor there's an actress there's a love triangle one of them dies then one of them comes back and I, all the it's like the same old wine in a new glass as one of my guru says so it's basically is the same down to dent rubbish garbage they are presenting it with a different flavor all the time right now you have to make that decision that will i go and see that garbage again or will i go and visit this temple or that center where there are these spiritual personalities who are inviting me to come and we know that if we go to that place where these people are there our life will improve and we also know that if we go and meet these friends yes who will downgrade us mentally spiritually physically emotionally we will suffer we know that but still we do not give up their association we always maintain our att- attachments yes then we are behaving like this dhritarashtra dhrita rashtra the word means dhrita rashtra rashtra is kingdom and dhrita is very strong hold which means this person is very 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 attached to his kingdom <laughs> that is the meaning of this word <laughs> so that means we are behaving like exactly the way dhrita rashtra behaved yes that they can be anybody our friends or our family members for example if there is a, a person who says to you who is your friend that oh you should drink who said no drinking is wrong you should have freedom don't go and surrender your freedom to all these sadhus who, who are just telling you no don't do this don't do that they are living in their world of renunciation but you are living in this material world you have to live like a uh, they say na in rome live like a roman <laughs> but that doesn't mean you have to drink right but suppose we say that oh my friend will feel bad na we become like that eunuch as in uh, english they say na hermaphrodite the third gender is neither a male nor a female we behave like that i mean i'm not saying that transgenders behave like that i'm saying that in hindi they say that if you are behaving like that that you can't make any decision then they say you are behaving like a transgender yes which simply means that you are not able to let go of those attachments which are holding you back <laughs> yes that means you are behaving like dhritarashtra and then the battle of kurukshetra takes place and all of your attachments are shattered so the only thing dhritarashtra is telling us through the character of the mahabharat which he played <laughs> is that look my dear sir when you are on your spiritual journey do not get allured by these elements give up all your attachments <laughs> it is difficult to do i know that but we have to start if we do not start it will not happen all right so whenever we have taken some spiritual commitments to chant this mantra every day in the evening or every day in the morning even if our friend is calling us for a party that day what should we do should we deny no no we should not deny yes it's best if you can deny <laughs> but you have to try how you can fit it there yes and if somebody is indulging in wrong activities in illicit activities like drinking smoking uh, eating meat or indulging in illicit sex or watching pornography this stuff which will definitely degrade our consciousness then we have to give up their association because you cannot say that i will touch water and i will not get wet so if you associate with degraded people you will also degrade yes because dhritarashtra his problem was he never listened to bhishma he never listened to krishna he never listened to drona he never listened to vyasdev he only listened to duryodhana dushasana karana and shakuni these four culprits were the only people to whom he listened 
and that is why all these four also perished and dhritarashtra also perished he lost all his 100 sons my god can you imagine losing a 100 sons you can't imagine actually <laughs> unless you have 100 sons how will you know yes so dhritarashtra shows how a good person he was a very good person actually he knew the scriptures he was from the dynasty of bharat maharaj a very fulgent personality but his association spoiled him yes and his attachments destroyed him if only he would say to duryodhana don't sit in the throne let you just sit the whole dynasty would be living happily but no he didn't say that he maintained his attachments towards the kingdom and that led to his downfall so you will see in your spiritual journey when you start yoga meditation or reading the scriptures or going to satsang or holy programs many people will come and join you but in due course of time many people will leave why because they do not take care of this dhritarashtra inside yes which means they do not let go of their attachments they try to practice really uh, spirituality and materialistic pleasure simultaneously yes sinful activities basically because spirituality and sin goes ill together yes that this is like saying i will put two legs in two boats and then what happens both the boats go down and you collapse right so there therefore when you see that somebody is practicing spirituality from last 20 years 10 years or 15 years or maybe 6 months but there's no change in him or her then you understand that that person is not loosening his or her attachments that is why the person is behaving as if they never did any spiritual practice right because if the practice is bona fide and you are doing it sincerely there will be change in your life that has to happen that is the litmus test all right so the lesson which we have to learn from dhritarashtra here is that we have to try to control our attachments and we have to make a decision sometimes of whom to associate with and whom not to associate with yes so make sure that you are surrounded with good people as they say that you are the average of five people who you associate with should i repeat you are the average of five people who you associate with if you associate with five boys who are all womanizers then you will also become like that if you associate with five girls who the only thing which they know is to use other men when they need things right as most of the women do <laughs> i have seen in my experience at least then you will also become a woman like them yes and then men will come and use you yes and then you will put status update in facebook i have seen so many girls oh all men are like dogs they are like pigs no? they are coming and using us well <laughs> no comments on that okay so what i am saying is make sure with whom you associate yes if you are associating with a prostitute you will be also become like a prostitute so make sure that your association is good you have spiritual personalities in your group and in your friend circle with whom you can go and share your problems and your stuff by which they can give you divine guidance by which you can elevate your consciousness all right that is it from my side i hope we will try to fight this dhritarashtra which is inside us and not behave like an ostrich and pretend oh no 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 nothing has happened everything is good no, no. there's no problem then you are definitely going to be in some serious problem okay so that is it from my side if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website and if you like this video click the thumbs up and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know in the comments okay and please share it with your family friends and colleagues who oh. you think are behaving like this dhritarashtra okay or with those people who have started their journey on some new spiritual path okay for them this is very essential okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you